Greetings to everyone who is listening and watching me at this time. Dear brothers and sisters, I'm so blessed to be speaking the word of God. And it is always a blessing to be here on a daily basis where I release the word. I know how powerful these words are. And I believe that many of you have come out victorious. There are people that have sent me their testimonies of how God has been so gracious to them, of how God has been so loving to them, of how God has brought forth a breakthrough in their lives and families. Brothers and sisters, if you are watching me for the very first time, my name is Grace, where I release the word of God on a daily basis. Today could be your day of deliverance. Today could be your day of celebration. Somebody may it congratulate you today. Some of you have waited for God for a long time. But I'm telling you that if God has said it, he will do it. If God has done it for others, he will do it for you. You are a child of God. So you are not watching me by mistake. This video is right for you. This is a confirmation to someone who is watching me at this time. Brothers and sisters, it doesn't matter what exactly the enemy is trying to do in your life. Some of you, the enemy has driven you out of your uh, area, out of your place. But I'm telling you that God can restore you. The Bible says it clear that he will restore unto you the years that the locusts have eaten. Listen, what locusts have the ability to eat years? This then tells you that the battle you are facing is more spiritual than it is physical. There is a lot of activity right now that is happening in the spiritual realm. Some of you are, have just been woken up from sleep. And this video has, has been recommended to you. Some of you, the first time you watched me, this channel was recommended to you. So, it is important that you pay close attention to the words that are going to proceed out of my mouth. Brothers and sisters, if you want to be a blessing to this ministry, you can still bless the ministry through your giving. You can give through my PayPal account. My PayPal is right in the about section of this channel. Just click on the link and the link will direct you to my PayPal. You can give any amount from $1 to $5 to $1,000 to whatever amount that God has placed in your life. You see, that it is more blessed to give than to receive. And there is no giving that is too small. In case you think that your giving is small, it is not small in the eyes of God. It can do and make a difference to people around the world. Brothers and sisters, today's powerful and amazing word is your enemies are planning to put a false witness against you. In other words, false witnesses have already been put up against you. They are rising up against you. Some of you have been brought up to courts of law. So be very careful how you walk. Be very careful how you respond to people. Who is it that you have trusted? Because your betrayer is someone that actually you know. It is not somebody that you don't know. It is somebody that you know that hires people that you may not know. That is your betrayer. They have known you for a long time. Your accuser has studied you for a long time. Some of them are right at your workplace. Some of them are your family members. Some of them are people that you have trusted. You think that they will not betray you. But be very, very careful. You see, the people that betrayed Joseph were his brothers. They sold him off to Egypt. They hated him because he was a dreamer. Look at Jesus. It is Judas Iscariot, the one actually who was responsible for the money back. The one actually who was staying in the same house with him, who saw him perform miracles, is the one that betrayed him. Delilah betrayed Samson. Samson thought that Delilah loved him. By the end, it was a trap. Be careful not to fall in the traps of the enemy. Brothers and sisters, today's word is from the book of Psalms, chapter 27, verse 10 to around 14. Psalms, chapter 27, verse 10 to 14. The Bible says it clear. When my father and mother 
forsake me. Then the Lord will take care of me. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path. Because of my enemies, do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries. For false witnesses have risen against me, and such as breathe out violence. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. These are the words by the psalmist that is sought the face of God. He waited on the Lord. He wrote this word and he said that, in fact, he said, when my father and mother forsook me, then the Lord will take care of me. You see, it is possible for someone that you love, somebody who's your relative to forsake you. Mm. They can forsake you. They can forsake you. They can run away when all hell breaks loose. But the Bible says, the Lord will take care of you. Are you going through betrayal? Are you going through accusations? Are you going through false witnesses? And you seem that there's no one there for you? The Bible says, the Lord will take care of you. Everything that you need, listen to me, is in the Lord. Whether it is money, whether it is a spouse, whether it is healing, a breakthrough, I'm telling you, the Lord will take care of you. The Bible says it's clear. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. The reason as to why the psalmist wants to know the way of God, it is because of his enemies. Listen, because of your enemies, you need to know, to know the ways of God. What is the true way? Jesus says it clear that he is the way, the truth, and life. You have to get a hold of Jesus. The Bible says, do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries. Your adversaries have a will. They have a will. And their will is to destroy you. The Bible says it clear that the thief only comes, only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus has come that you may have life and have it abundantly. Not just life that is promised to you, but that life is abundantly, everlasting life. The Bible says it clear, for false witnesses have risen against me, and such as breath, breathe out violence. They have risen up against you. There are so many all around you. You see, the psalmist says that he would have lost heart unless he had believed. Mm, some of you would have lost heart. But because you believed, you are still standing. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. I hope this word has encouraged you. Until next time, shalom.